Good morning, church family. I wanted to bring to you another daily encouragement from God's Word and I wanted to share a few verses from Paul's first letter to Timothy. You know, in chapter 4, we find that well known verse, that encouragement from the Apostle Paul to Timothy, where he said, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers. He said to give attention to reading and to exhortation and to doctrine. But then he said in verse 14, Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of hands of the leadership. Meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them that your progress may be evident to all. Verse 16, Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, and in doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. So Paul is giving Timothy a warning about neglecting certain things. He said, don't neglect the gift that you have. Do you find that in the past few weeks, when things have been so different for us, that it's easy to neglect certain things? Yes, we haven't had the opportunity to use a lot of our spiritual gifts in the setting of the church, but we all have gifts that we can continue to use. And my encouragement to you is is don't neglect those gifts that God has given you, but use them for His glory. And Paul also said to meditate on these things and to give yourself entirely to them. What he's saying here is, is don't neglect the studying of the Word. Don't neglect to getting into the things that God has for you and, and reading the Word and applying them to your life. And another encouragement to you is during this, don't neglect that in your personal life. Make sure you spend time with God daily getting into His Word and studying His Word and and developing that consistent devotional life for yourself. And then when he says, take heed to yourself, I, I believe what he's saying here is that if you neglect these other things, essentially you're neglecting your own spiritual growth. If you're not using your gifts, if you're not spending time in the Word, we neglect our own spiritual growth and Paul says here to take heed to yourself and to doctrine what he's saying is attend to your own self attend to your own spiritual growth he said it in another uh, letter to the Philippians he said work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and so I want to encourage you use your gifts for the glory of God and spend time in the Word with Him daily. You know, one thing that Paul says here is that you give yourself entirely to them that your progress may be evident to all. That term there is really a military term, and it's talking about uh, taking new ground. It's talking about gaining ground in this battle, and we are in a battle, aren't we? But what Paul is talking about here is going places that we've never been before and progressing into new things with the Lord. And if we don't neglect our gifts, if we don't neglect our own spiritual growth and our study in the Word and our daily devotional life, God's going to take us to places that we've never been in this walk with Him. And by the way, as we get closer to meeting again as a church, What a great time to recommit and to uh, renew our commitment to the Lord in serving Him and serving the body of Christ with the gifts that He's given us. Because we're getting close to meeting again together as a church body. And uh, God has given given us gifts. The Spirit has given us spiritual gifts so that the body may function the way it was intended to. So... During this time, just pray and ask the Lord, God, how can you use me when we come together as a church once again? What gifts do you have for me that would be used for your glory? And renew that commitment to be used by God. Amen. We are praying you can join us on May the 31st for our drive-in service. It's going to be a really 
good time just seeing all of you again and uh, be praying about that time and call and invite someone to join us on that day. God bless you. We'll see you on the 31st.